Josinha. <laughs> Super energetic, creative, and musical. In this episode of Forró Dance Demonstration Reactions, we're watching once again Josinha, but this time with Thales. Welcome to another episode of this super fun series where we watch together, react together, and comment. And as always, I'm talking we, because usually we continue our conversation below the description of this video in this comment section. I love to hear what you all have to say. And if you're new here, you don't know me, my name is Rafael. I'm a musician, a dance instructor, and a producer of multiple events in New York and beyond dance classes, workshops, festivals, concerts, and more. I must say that I watched this video a few times <laughs> already. I remember first time I watched was very inspired by the dance, how creative they were, how musical they were, how they were able to play with time and many other elements that we're gonna discuss in this video. Super fun, I think you guys are gonna like it. Let's watch together. Waves, undulations. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ooh, super musical, super musical. Mm -hmm. I have to stop here and talk about musicality. <laughs> Because I think this is one of the, the things that I'm most passionate about uh, for her is, and dances in general, uh, the idea that how the, the movement connects with the music and how the music can and should inspire uh, the dance. In the previous video of this series, I, I also talked about this, and here I want to call attention to introduction. Introduction is usually a moment uh, that we are preparing for the song, and sometimes there is a solo accordion or some different vibe than the piece itself and it's an opportunity for the dancers to do something different. And uh, once, uh, first of all, congratulations to the band, the accordion player, there was a very interesting introduction, but then here also congratulations to them too, to use this to their advantage and have a very creative beginning of the dance. Let's continue. multiple turns using a uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. with the music yeah Comment here about uh, this style of dancing and the movements that they do. Uh, they do a lot of movements which are not uh, in the regular count one, two, three. They have like movements in five, in seven, in other counts. And these movements create a different dynamic and tend to be movements, very interesting movements by themselves. But sometimes it's a challenge to make these movements match to the music because they, they don't continue with the count, the count of the zabumba, the beats. And here, congratulations to you too, because you're doing all these crazy movements with additional steps and all this, and then are able to come back to the music and find ways to accentuate what's happening in the song. So here, congratulations to this. You see, bom. Mm. All their kind of accents that are hard to do because they are not on the beat, but they are on the off beat. Oh, nice. I have to call attention here once again, I'm, I'm talking in this series, many times I mentioned this, about uh, like the, this energy in Forró that we have, dancers coming one towards the other and finding the body contact as a, as a way of leading and following. And I'm gonna come back a little, some frames here. I hope you guys can see with me. Can you, oh, I don't know if you can. Let me try to see. Yeah, there you go. So you see how Josinha 
is constantly looking for the contact and to find his legs and his bodies. So you see their bodies are not stagnant like this. They play like this. And there is this element of looking for the partner that creates a super interesting dynamic in the dance and open the door for many possibilities if done right. <laughs> you have to be able to understand your body, your balance to do in a way that you're not disrupting the balance of your partner and not doing things that can hurt you. But if you have this control that they have here, uh, this is a super cool thing about the dance. Oh, Josinha, <laughs> so good. Sorry I'm stopping this video so many times, but there are so many th great things to talk about this dance, this video, these dancers. Uh, I think Josinha is one of the dancers that I find the posture when she dances is one of the most beautiful po ho postures that I know of. She has this very elongated form, this very upright form, but also a very flexible form and very the energy towards the partner. Uh, first time I danced, actually the only time, the only chance I had to dance with her was during a festival here in the US in Boston, uh, just the year before the pandemic, 2019. She was one of the instructors uh, there and I had the chance to talk with her and to dance with her a few songs during the, the nights of the festival. And although her dance is so upright, so beautiful, and, uh, and she talks about all the, the core energy that she uses to have this posture. For the person who is dancing with her, it feels so light and, and the flow goes so natural. So here, this I think is something that followers should stride, uh, uh, strive for, uh, is to have this elongated posture, this beautiful posture, upright energy towards, and at the same time be so flexible. So here, once again, congratulations, Josinha for this beautiful posture and uh, the way that you are able to use uh, your body in the dance. Mm -hmm. The breaks in the middle of the turn, which is challenging to lead, to understand and to follow. You see how they were able to finish the turn at the break and make it work musically, even not doing a movement that matches the Zabumba. So nice, the choice there, Josinha. He, he led her during the break and she decided to do a slow motion during the break. They created a super nice dynamic. Mm -hmm. song and new movement playing around. Josinha suggesting the full work, yes. Yes, slow motion there. <laughs> Playful movement. Super nice. The music is going to come back. Embrace and... Oh! Mm -hmm. Yes. Clapping along. The end of the song and... Whoa! <laughs> so nice, so nice, so nice. Congratulations, you two. Beautiful dance. Uh, it really inspired me to talk and bring to the attention of you viewers all these points that I think are so important about the dance and things that we can learn with this video. In case you want to watch the original video, I'm going to put here in the description of this video the link along with all their links and relevant information. I also strongly recommend you, if you like this video, to check out other videos and channels and social media of the dancers featured in this video. The main idea behind this series is to highlight different dancers, different styles, making Foho happen, educating people, and being representatives, ambassadors of our Foho dance 
worldwide. And if you like this video, as always, please give a like. It helps the channel. Leave your comment below the description here in the comment section. I love to hear from you all. And if you're not a subscriber yet, subscribe. We have many videos, many other videos from this series already on the channel to come and other kind of content related, all related to Forró. Hope to see you soon in the next video.